Complete details available, road to the CFR.com. Come on! Here's come a on. classic events, championship day. Look at here, Tyrell making a ride. Look at these bucket horse, Calgary Stampede. These guys are going for first. Wade Sundell leads all in the Wrangler Classic at 85 and a half. A 79 and a half score for the business administration graduate from Panhandle College down there in Oklahoma. He's heading off to Texas to do a master's degree. Very bright young man in addition to his talents that we saw aboard Trail Dust today for 79 and a half. Seventh place right now. Just before we go too, I'd like to mention I'm just visiting here with Buzz Gabrielson right up here. Now his family his honor's dad, he comes here every year. It's their gift to their dad this year. They're donated $1,000 cash to the winning saddle bronc rider here at the rodeo in honor of their dad. And that's just a pretty nice gift. And uh, Buzzy's been going to these rodeos for over 35 years and said this is the best rodeo around. And, and he just loves it here at Innisfail. So Buzz has got five grand. Five children, nine grandchildren, six great grandchildren, but let's watch NFR Bronc Rider Court Sear right now out of Nebraska. Look at here, look at the size of that blowing in the air. Good spur ride. One of our best Bronc Riders in the world right there. Extra special was the horse from the Big Stone firm, that Appaloosa Gelding, solid and Court Sear. Since the fourth in the world, Nathan Canada checks in here at 79 points. Oh, that's, oh, that's right, right, Buzz, yeah. yeah. The, the winner today, today here. here. And it don't have to be official either. We'll just, that's, that's pretty, pretty nice, nice there, you guys. Well, well Brad Harder of Weatherford, Texas, Texas, Texas got to be next to go. go. Brad sitting 12th in the, in the world. world. Rubles is, is the horse from the Big Stone firm. Purchased at that Las Vegas maturity down there from the Cooper family, the Ash Cooper family. So, so watch, watch right, right here, here as we get, get set. set. At the Central Alberta Co op shoot right now. Boy, they're out here, ranked up the actual final bucket hole. Right again, again. Brad Hart, I like his style. I've seen him come and go year after year. This is one of the guys going for a world's championship. Nice ride, Brad. Boy, it's great to have you here. That was a nice prompt ride. Man, I like that horse and I like that man's style. And the judges, judges liked it too to the tune, tune of 80 and a half. 80.5 80. 80. for Brad Harbour. Puts him in sixth place overall, Dwayne. It's a tough ride, and, and he'll be also get a trophy bronze here with Ross Clontway and our family here. Attorney Weldon, beautiful buckle, lots of awards. This is a day they all wanted to be here. Well, Stephen Dent has already clinched himself one of our honors today in the Buck and Horse Riding events. Got a chance to do it twice as he's our next saddle ball rider. He's got Charlie Horse from the Northcott firm. Canadian and National Finals Rodeo Buck and Horse Ranch raised out there at the Northcott spread. Stephen Dent, Mullen, Nebraska in the Padernes shoot this time. If somebody's here from Southside, get up here to announce to present that buckle in the bareback ride from Southside. Tough horse, Dwayne, man alive. He won the bareback ride and bronc ride didn't go too well. But that's the way it is in this rodeo business. There's a talented young man though, folks, here to do those two events. Completely different spur lick and Congratulations, Stephen, on that bareback ride. And that was a rank horse. Northcock stock Charlie horse. Well, check this out, Dwayne. You're going to love this. Jack Danes will love this as well. Because this is Cody Martin from Eagle, Colorado, on the Northcott horse, Get Smart. Here is the horse of the year 2011, horse of our Canadian finals. This could be a matchup to watch right here. As Cody Martin, two times NFR and a college national champion. Watch right here now. This could be good. This could be real good. Down there in that Gold Coast shoot. Cody Martin, get smart. Well, I don't know if there's a horse in North America in that 
that the Bronc riders have more respect for right here. He will test you every time. He hit hard, strong, but he's honest. He'll give you a fair shot, but it is no day off, any day. Cody knows that. And the best way to ride these rank horses is do your job, make that spur ride. Look at here, get smart. Cody Martin, I like it, dude. Give it a big effort, folks. Let's pay them off. Boy, there was some tough riding. You got to hand it to Northcott Rodeo Ace. Nice bucking horse, champion bucking horse. Gonna go to the Wrangler shoot now, Sam Spreadborough. Snyder, Texas. Redon Acres from the Calgary Stampede Firm. This man's twice been to the national finals rodeo too, Dwayne. You know, I know how hard Jack Danes and the whole Danes family works, but it all comes together when you see a field of, of competitors like we see here today and the stock that they brought for these guys to compete on. It is a very special day and a very special rodeo. Now, right now, our top mark on the day is that of Brad Harder, that 80 and a half, and that extra $1,000 up for grabs today. And Groundhog getting a little extra there, too, but these guys are going out to try to win about 5,000 right now. And here's a young Texan national finalist go again. Boy, these guys do it right. Hold that right up. Good spur. Like, that's how Bronc Riding's done. Nice job. How about a new leader at 86 Port Sam Spreadborough? Hoo ha, the Texan is in town. Nice Bronk. He's a picture whore. I've seen Kevin Stampede pictures with that dude. Beautiful ride. And we're not done. I still see lots of big bronks in these shoots here. We put out lots this last day. I think maybe we're tied at the top of that leaderboard with those 86s. But I'll tell you what we are. We're getting ready for Dusty Hossar, another Canadian champion. Dickinson, North Dakota. Love this horse, Dark Side, from the North God firm. That's just a good bronc riding here today, isn't it? <laughs> like always. 35 years you've been coming here. Is it ever rained here on Sunday? No, never. No, yeah, right. The show goes on, though, and the ground's good. The Bronx are bucking, and this is how these guys make a living. Attorney Bucket Chute, boy, Bird, hope he made it out here. Good friend and good people, and they're helping out year after year. All the sponsors here, folks, uh, who can't just get in everybody, and, but they're all important. It all adds up. My dad, happy Father's Day and a great day today. He's the one that made it all happen. Well, Sam Spreadburn and Wade Sundell leading the way with those 86 scores. That's the way we're sitting right now is Dusty Hossauer, a Canadian champion of not so long ago, getting ready right now. Northcott right here, look at here, got him in trouble and down he goes. Boy, such a fine line, you gotta hold your feet and get your time. These bucking horses are ranked. Boy, Ace, you got some juice. Whew. That is some kind of bucking horse right there, I'll tell you. Mm. Well, these guys, they know there's no sense just, you know, if, if it was just a contest to stay on them all, that'd be no problem. But they got to turn their toes out, lift on that rein, reach up there as far as they can over the points of that shoulder and, and do that for about eight seconds and eight or nine jumps and they're here to win. All right, Chet Johnson, Gillette, Wyoming, another former Canadian champion. And this year sits second in Canada, 16th in the world. And he's got mad money from the Calgary Stampede, and it's all about money, money when you draw this bucking horse. Way down at the far side, that's Central Alberta Co-op for our bucking horse rider, Chet Johnson. Mad money. Right now. Outstanding Final Four, Cowboy Stampede, Bucket Horse, and Cowboy Two. Look at here, Johnson. Boy, that looks pretty. Wow. Oh, Chet. All right, Chet. How does that feel? There's that million dollar smile that is on his face at all times. And it'll be there this time. 87 and a half.
Chet, Chet Johnson, Johnson and Mad, Mad Money, Money to, to the lead. lead. Well, well, let's go to Tyler Corrington because we're a long way from done yet. Here's another one of those grated coconut zippy delivery bucking horses. Timely delivery is the horse that Tyler Corrington's drawn. 17th in Canada, second in the world is Corrington. So you know he can ride and you know that he's going to try to challenge what Chet Johnson just did with that 87 and a half. As we move on down to ATB financial for our cowboy. Tyler Corrington, Minnesota man. We don't get to say that very often. No, but I you had some, a lot of fun with his cat. Yeah, go on. This will be my pick right here. Go on, Cowboy Tyler, number two in the world and moving up. Horses, Canada, what a matchup. All right, well, we're going to set him down, and you can salute the Cowboy right now, Tyler Corrington. Awaiting the decision of Wrangler Central. And he is in with an 85 score. 85 for Corrington. That'll find a spot on the leaderboard in fourth place overall. There you see it right there, the 87 and a half. Chet Johnson, pair of 86s from Sam Spreadboro and Wade Sundell. And now Ty Corrington in at 85. Good pick, Dwayne. Good pick. Kyle Thompson, the defending champion right here. He was 87 points one year ago in this arena to win it. He wants to win it again. He's going to have to be just a little bit more than 87, and I wouldn't bet against this guy. Well, he's got a chance. Night, Bunny. This is one they all like to draw. You can drive all night, shake out your saddle, and go ahead. This is a nice, nice bucking horse. When I say nice, it gives you a chance to make that good spur ride. Half of the horse, half of the ride. These guys want to reach up there, turn their toes out, set their feet. If you could just see that little hesitation, feet over the brakes of the shoulder, that just makes all the difference. Of, they all ride good. It's just that little bit extra. Kyle got her done a year ago today, right now. He's got another good chance. Boy, it's good to see Flunder back in the business down there, turning his horse out. Had a bad shot a couple weeks ago up at Roddy's deal. All right, Kyle, our three champ, all around, good hand, he can do it all, nice money. Pretty brown ride, not the ranch, that's what I like. He'll check in at 83 points for Kyle Thompson, 83 for the Cowboy. Let's go now to Clinton Cox of Peace River, twice been the intercollegiate champion of our nation. Got a horse called Beaver from the Big Stone Firm. This bad gelding right here can get it done for you. This is a good young talent, Clinton Cox, on the Big Stone Bucking Horse Beaver. 87 and a half, what they are all pursuing now. So we know that at least three of our first four events are going to be won on Championship Sunday right here in the arena, and the tie-down roping, we missed it by a tenth of a second. Well, that's what they like. It's for all the stock and everything, and especially the time of it, it's the same for all of them, but they got that little edge, they know what they have to do. Right now, we've got to be 88 points if we can. Yep, Cox right here, the strong draw. And there will be a short intermission right after the bronc riding. I'm saying that as much for our TV folks as for you folks, but we'll get a chance to stretch our legs a little bit, meet some of our champions. And a 67 score for Clinton Cox. Okay, I see Steve down there. Is that correct, guys? Of course, coming out of there, something happened here. We got pro officials made the call, and uh, Steve's getting on another one right here for us. He's won the bareback riding. He's 
having a busy day. Back in the Cowboys pen here. Go on, Steve. Look at here, boy. Let's stay back. Mix that good ride. That was Nitro Mountain, by the way, that uh, we just saw. Nitro Mountain, the bucking horse. And a 74 point ride for Stephen Dent. 74 for Stephen Dent on his second opportunity. So there we are, there's your leaderboard at 87 and a half. Chet Johnson, Sam Spreadborough, Wade Sundell at 86, Ty Corrington at 85, Jack. That was a good bronc ride.